Hi guys and gals, and welcome back to another Borkin' No Game video. Today's video is AK2, a beginner's guide to Illusion Connect, a new gacha coming out. Make sure to like, comment, and smash the subscribe button if you like this video. Alright, dreams. This is where you want to be as soon as you start the game. This is the place that you are going to farm as far as you can, possibly, throughout the game, alright? Just go here and just smash the stages. The reason why is because you can only get one stamina every five minutes and you only get five refreshes per day. And the reason why that's important is because your content is locked behind this dream section. So the farther that you get in dreams, the farther ahead you will be in front of everyone else, all right? This is going to be the goal of every single person who has played like, you know, the beta and uh, the pan server. They're going to farm dreams as far as they possibly can. Get as far as you possibly can, all right? And the reason why is because you unlock stuff like the news. News is a great source of gems. There's like a ranking boards here. And depending on how many people get the ranks, let's say like 50 people get like, you know, 20,000 CP, then everyone will get 100 diamonds on top of the 50 diamonds that's already given to us, right? So that's absolutely amazing. You know, there's story rankings, there's guild rankings, exploration rankings, all of them provide gems. There's also going to be the shop area, and you're going to go to regular supplies. There's going to be a daily supply of gems right here. There's going to be a weekly supply and a monthly supply. It's all absolutely amazing. They're all free, so make sure to get those gems in the very beginning. And then you'll unlock quests later on. There'll be daily quests that'll give you gems. There'll be dream tracks that give you gems. This is like based off of completing the story. Absolutely amazing. You know, I get free stuff right now. And then after you, let's say you get stuck in the game, right? You're gonna go to your partners and you're gonna upgrade them. Like for example, the max you can get to is 15 at the very start. Once you progress in dreams, there you go, you have it again, dreams, you will unlock the feature to the level gap between them. So I can go from level 15 to level 30. Let's say I don't have enough. If I hit the plus section right here, it'll actually show me how to get that material and actually rate it. Rate is super important. It's a feature that's unlocked at the very start of the game. And this pretty much allows you to, you know, get all of this stuff they're essentially skip tickets right off the bat and it's absolutely free no cost to you it's unlocked from the get-go so that's super amazing right there too and make sure to get some sr heroes along the way to build right i've seen the tier list it's absolutely amazing thank you to nico plays nick all right and great hero to pick up the reason why i like her she has a skill where pretty much as long as snow queen is up she increases damage rate, which is essentially attack for all allies on the board. And then, you know, when Mermaid there increases defense or resistance, damage resistance rate by 16.5%. As long as they're both on the board and her unique skill summons them every single time. All right. So they're essentially going to be up as long as Anne is alive. Make sure to also get, you know, you everyone knows get Miyuki. She's by far the best SSR that you can get on a reroll. But the other SRs that you want to get on top of Miyuki are people like Anne, but possibly, and it's even better, is to get Rikia or Pan. Both of them are absolutely excellent. I've used Rikia before, and she has an AoE clear just like Miyuki, and she also lowers the defense as soon as she drops. So an AoE defense clear as soon as she drops, she's absolutely amazing. I personally also like Annie as my defender. She helps my leader stay alive, and that's very important your leader stays alive because essentially as long as your leader is alive, you can keep playing the game. If you lose your leader, which is essentially, you know, your character, this dude right here, you essentially lose the game, right? So it's very important you keep him alive. Next is going to be Miscipula. This is going to be the idle section of the game. It's very important as soon as you start this game, upgrade everything all right by that i mean build everything so build all three dessert cards build the, like all the frame lights and build all the books this deck chair right here you know i can unlock it this actually gives me the ability to get crystals right the crystals that you use to essentially level all of these things up you get to just like get it right off the bat so once i build this now i have a daily source of crystals so you won't be running out of this currency anytime soon, all right? Don't do any of this, these refreshes. It's like an absolute joke, unless you really have to. But the only reason why is because for some reason you can't tackle content. But honestly, you can use stamina and stamina will provide you like coins and stuff, right? Like the, the actual, like playing the game will provide you EXP for your character upgrades and gold. So 
honestly, you should spend all of your diamonds into stamina, alright? I know we want to summon, but honestly, complete dreams as fast as you can. Now the other thing that I wanted to look at was a couple of beginner guides, and of course you guys seen the tier list, right? But this beginner tips tricks right here. This is made by Nico's Plays Nick. Thanks again so much. Here's a class infographic, and then I want you guys to know this middle section right here. This is like a roster that you can ideally build, like a team setup, right? So we talked about Anne already, Guardian, you know, that was essentially Annie. We talked about Board Wipe, which was Rikia. BB is a $1 SR character. If you choose to get her, you don't feel like rerolling. If you want to get her really quick, you just go Sky Eye Phoenix because this is the first thing you can see as soon as you start the game. And she's only a dollar. So if you want to get it, feel free to get her. You know, I don't I don't think you can reroll for her, but you know, if you want to get her, feel free to get her that way. And the next thing is going to be, you know, Jasmine. She's going to be an okay free healer that you get by, you know, just playing the game. And then this is the full lineup of characters that he recommended in the beginning if you want to play this way, right? Now, there's like, you know, the biggest thing that you gotta know is that just have a guardian and some sorks in the beginning. Just because sorks clear the board, right? Eventually, you'll need a healer and eventually you'll need a summon. But the characters, you know, that are not as necessary, but you're probably going to have a spell, which is Miyuki, just for debuffing. And then light is for buffing, it's like a squid, right? So for Karaya, Karaya is one of the premium defenders that you want to get. I didn't, The thing that I want to show was the lineup to the right. You can see the unit synergy, so this is like a team synergy that you can shoot for. I would say that this is one of the best teams that I've seen. And now look at how many characters are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you go onto your actual lineup page, you'll unlock 10 slots in total. You know, as you progress through the game, you'll eventually get all of these. And if you want to get more slots, you're going to go into Miscipula and you build a bed to essentially, you know, have more waifus, you know, join your game, right? This, this unlocks more characters to join your lineup. If you go into build, you'll see it right here, right? Double bed more partners right that's memes okay <laughs> so let's get back into here now i know that there's a, a bunch of like different information being thrown at you notice that there's also positioning that's ideal so healers ideally go on the sidelines so that they don't get attacked and of course your guardians stay up in front so that they can take all the damage ideally right in front of your leader so your leader stays alive as long as possible now you pretty much are equipped with everything you have like a basic idea of what lineups to use you know where to essentially go after you beat dreams make sure to go into trials there's a daily trial section where pretty much you know it's a resource gate so after you get as far as you can in dreams make sure to go to trials also note there's two sections to dreams there's normal and then there's collapse if you ever get stuck in normal where it's like, hey, you can't progress through the story, just finish collapse because you're gonna need these total stars to continue progressing in dreams, all right? There's nothing holding you back at the very beginning of this game. Just make sure to go all out on dreams. Don't forget, as soon as you get into this game, make sure to actually use the free characters. I highly recommend Nina, Victoria, and Saya. They're all fantastic on the tier list. And the reason why is because they can all go up to SR because of the you know, the upgrade system, this is the lens section, and the lens chest is super important because you actually get five SR shards for five star characters, right? So five sh shards for SSR characters is really huge, and you can actually unlock heroes if you go slower in the partner section. It only costs 60 shards to unlock a hero of your choice. I would highly recommend unlocking Kasumi at the very beginning because she's not a character that you can really summon. That's pretty much it for my, you know, quick fast beginner guide just tackle dreams as fast as you can upgrade everything in Miss Kipula. get everything in news also this album section is a great place you know to also get free gems if you it'll show you in the tutorial as well you just click the magnifying glass and you get a hundred free gems from right there as well so that's it for today's beginners video if you like this content if you like illusion connect let me know all right let me know in the comments I can make more videos on this this is a fantastic gotcha. We'll also have an Illusion Connect code on my next video. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next one.